The legal future of the New England Clean Energy Connect project is still unknown. Day three of the trial between CMP and opposition groups focused again on the company's vested rights to continue the project. Voters approved a new law that requires all construction projects like this one to get legislative approval before construction. CMP, though, says by the time voters approved that new law, a lot of work on the corridor was already done, so it should be grandfathered in. Opponents of the project argue the project began construction so CMP's vested rights could be established. We well, today in Portland, in end, former president of the project, Thorn Dickinson's, was asked if the company was aware of that opportunity when construction started. But if CMP wants we knew that by building the project we could vest their rights. We wanted to, we wanted to do that and we built that project. Um, with the hope of being able to vest the project, but none of those things affected the decisions that were made associated with the construction. That trial will continue tomorrow as more witnesses are expected to be called and testifying. Closing arguments are expected to be heard in one week. Then the fate of the project will be in the hands of the jury.